Hi guys, welcome back to Chan Admissions channel with me Nadia and today I will share with you on how to choose the right program for you to study in China. But before that, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and also share this video. Do you know that there are more than 2,000 programs available in China and English? So yeah, it's more than 2,000 programs and it means that there are a lot of choices, a lot of options in China. And this is why a lot of you, a lot of the international students are confused as well because, for example, even if they know they want to study business, but there are multiple universities which are offering business program. So I get some questions like, can you help me to choose the right program? Can you help me to choose the right university to apply? apply for or can you give me some recommendations of which university to apply for or which one should I choose because there are just way too many programs and it might be confusing because I realize that international students are not really familiar with the Chinese education system and they're not really familiar with the Chinese universities itself. Therefore, in this video, I'll let you know and I will give you some tips on how to choose the right program for you in China. So I have this simple formula that I believe you can refer to that I usually use myself when helping students to find the right program for them to apply for. So the first one, the first and foremost is to find out which program do you want to apply for. You have to know which major that you're interested in, which subject that you're interested in. You have to know because this is very important. For example, if you want to study engineering in China, but engineering itself is such a broad subject. There are way too many minor fields under engineering. For example, mechanical engineering, there is electronic engineering, there is industrial engineering. There are all types of engineering programs available in China therefore it's best if you know specifically which major you want to apply for because it will definitely help to narrow down your options so for example if you know you want to pursue engineering you have to know which type of engineering subject you want to study in China so you can go for uh, mechanical engineering or electronic engineering industrial engineering or nuclear engineering, aerospace engineering, you have to be specific so that it can help you narrow down the options. Like for example, if you want to study business, I know that business has this broad major called business administration or international business, international business and economics that you can apply for. Or you can also choose to apply for uh, international economics and trade, for example. But if you want something specific that you like about business, for example, you're interested in the finance side of the business or in the accounting side or maybe in the marketing side, then you can apply for these specific subjects instead of just learning the whole idea about business, right? You can go and apply for the bachelor's in business or maybe you can go and apply for bachelor's in finance or maybe you can apply for bachelor in uh, accounting or or bachelor in marketing and some of you already have something in mind which is good some of you know that you want to be an IT engineer in the future so you can go for the computer science program you want to be doctor in the future so you can go for the MBBS program you want to be nurse in the future so you can go for the bachelor in nursing program for example so it's good to know which program you want to study because you will study this entire subject for two three four years so if you still don't know which major you want to apply for the easiest way would be to picture yourself in the next five to ten years what will you do in the next five to ten years what is your ideal future what is your ideal job what is it that you really want to do in life so you can picture yourself in the future and with that in mind use that to choose the right program that will bring you to achieve your future dreams but if you still don't know about your future plan, I would say do a lot of research about it. There are so many things on the internet available now to access, so you can easily access different types of jobs and what's the job description would be, what your ideal future looks like. So with the help of the current technology, I'm pretty sure you can do a quick research about it and then to develop some passion inside yourself and then hopefully you can find the right program. But if you are still confused and if you are still uh, not sure about which program to apply for, which I also experienced back then after finishing high school because I was not sure about what I want to do in my life because I was just finishing high school. High school is just so much fun, right? So it's kind of like uh, we don't really have that future plan in line yet. So for students who don't really know what you want to do in life, right? If, if you 
you don't have any specific targets like being an IT engineering or being a nurse, a doctor or an engineering architect, something like that. If you don't have any passions in those fields, I would really suggest applying for the business program because at the end of the day, studying business is going to be useful for you because you will deal with a lot of businesses in the future. You might start your own business or you might join another company to work there or you might, you know, like do some cooperations with other business. So yeah, no matter which field you are going to study at the end of the day, in the future you might be engaged in a business activities. That's why I think business program is the most general program that anybody can study. And it's like if you are confused on which program you want to apply for, really suggest studying business because the business knowledge itself is going to be very useful for you in the future. And moving on to the second formula which is to set your budget. It is best if you have an estimated budget on how much you would want to spend when studying abroad. As I've shared in a previous video about the cost of studying and living in China, actually the tuition fees at Chinese universities can be different from one to another. Therefore, it is best if you have an estimated budget on how much you would want to spend or how much your parents or your sponsor would want to spend when sending you to study to China. So the tuition fee itself in China, it ranges about at least 2,500 US dollar to 13,000 US dollar per year for the degree program so degree programs here refer to the bachelor master and also PhD program but if you plan to study for the non-degree Chinese language program the type of program where you can study Chinese language for either one semester or one year then you need to spend at least 1,000 US dollar for the tuition fee itself for one semester so therefore by setting up your budget it will help you to narrow down the options of universities that you can apply for because for example if your parents has reached an estimated budget of 5,000 US dollar per year, then it's going to be difficult if you want to apply for the more expensive universities, right? Because it's going to be beyond your budget. It's going to be beyond something that you guys want to afford. I really suggest all of you to sit down and discuss about budget with your parents, your sponsor, or maybe even if you're going to pay by yourself, then you can also do a little research about it and set up the budget on how much your sponsor is willing to spend or how much you are willing to spend when studying abroad especially when studying in China so a little cheat sheet about the fees about the cost of studying in China so as I mentioned before roughly the tuition fee for the degree programs is about 2,500 US dollars up to 13,000 US dollar per year as for the tuition fee for the non-degree Chinese language program you need at least 1,000 US dollar per semester but normally the tuition fee is about 1,000 up to 2,000 US dollar for the non-degree Chinese Chinese language program per semester and as for the living expenses in China well it is definitely up to your lifestyle and also it depends on which city you are going to live in China because like as I mentioned again and again if you choose to study in big cities like Beijing or Shanghai definitely the cost will be much more expensive than if you choose to study in the smaller cities roughly for the living expenses which cover the food accommodation and also like the transportation your daily necessities and a little bit of shopping roughly you need about 500 up to 800 US dollar per month and again it depends on your lifestyle it depends on the type of room you're getting whether you're getting on-campus accommodation or off-campus accommodation it's definitely going to influence the amount of money that you are going to spend for your living expenses in China and the third and final formula is to decide the location so this is very important because China itself has a lot of cities and the universities in China are scattered all around the country so you can choose to study in Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Xiamen, Ningbo, Hangzhou, you name it you can study at anywhere like literally any cities in China and I'm not saying that studying in big cities is definitely better than studying in the smaller cities in China for sure people can have their own consideration and they can have their own decision about deciding which location or like which city would be the best for them them to study when in China so these are the couple of things that you can consider when deciding the location and I will let you know why the location matters so
So first of all, why the location matters is because, as I've said before, Chinese universities are scattered all around the country. So it will definitely help you to narrow down the options on deciding which university or like which program that you want to apply for. So for example, some of you who came from the tropical countries like me, I came from Indonesia, obviously I don't really like living in a cold weather cities. So cities like Harbin or Jilin are going to be very much avoided by somebody like me because as I've said, I live in a tropical country my whole life and that's why I really hate cold weather. I don't think I can survive in a minus 30 degrees Celsius on winter. Even with like seven layers of clothing, I don't think I can survive. So some of you might have considerations like this in terms of uh, deciding the location because you might have like a preference over the weather for example if you're from Russia where you live in a cold weather or you're from Mongolia you might get used to the cold weather so whether you're studying in Beijing or even in Harbin it might not matter a lot for you because you're used to the weather itself because it's similar to what you experience in your home countries but some other people who are like me we prefer to have warmer weather that is more similar to what we experience back in our home country but there are some people like even some Indonesian students who choose to study in Harbin or like in colder cities because they want to experience how is it like to live in such a cold weather and it is definitely okay so I know that some of you wants the changes some of you want to have a new experience in terms of where you're living so yeah this definitely can be one of the consideration when you choose the best location for you to study in China so I hope the three tips I shared to you just now, which is about choosing the major and the budget and also the location will help you in narrowing down the list of universities or programs that you want to apply for in China and therefore you can have a decision over which program would be the best for you to apply for. If you have any further questions about admissions to Chinese universities, please do let us know. You can contact us on the email or you can contact us on WhatsApp. We have left the information on the description box box down below or if you have any questions you can also write a comment down below and we will answer it right away and if you need to start your online applications to Chinese University ASAP please directly go to our platform China Admissions where you can easily find more than thousands of programs to apply for in China and you can directly start your online applications to Chinese universities for free and you can also apply to multiple Chinese universities you can apply to multiple programs in China all at once in just one platform in China Admissions platform. So I've wrote the link to our platform on the description box down below to China Admissions platform. Make sure you check it and then we'll help you with your online application. So yeah, thank you all for watching. See you on the next video. So what's so good about studying in China is that the education is actually well distributed. So it's not like all the top universities are just mainly located in Beijing or Shanghai, but it is actually scattered all around China. And this is very important to share to all of you. Because as you guys know, yes, it's true that Peking University or Tsinghua Universities are both located in Beijing. But there are also many other top quality universities located in other cities in China. So even though like universities like Peking University or Tsinghua University, Fudan University, Shanghai Chaotong University are all located in Shanghai or Beijing. But there are still other universities which are located in other cities in China which also have a great quality of education with top rankings and high quality of teaching as well so even if you study at Hangzhou or Harbin or Wuhan or Xiamen Shandong Shanto anywhere in China you will still be able to see a high quality university you will still be able to study at a top ranking university